know Nancy, but she has been a leader um, in this field for over 30 years and a teacher and a mentor to hundreds and hundreds of professionals. Um, her work on the essentials of excellent teaching and care, things like observation, as, as Gail mentioned, and humanely acknowledging hellos and goodbyes for children and families, um, has clearly steered this field from going off course multiple times. Um, two of her well-known books um, are Observing and Recording the Behaviors of Young Children with Other Authors and Everyday Goodbyes. If you have not um, had the pleasure of reading them, I really recommend that you do so. Moreover, of interest to those of you who are here today, it was Nancy Balaban who took an off-handed suggestion by someone to create an institute for, to focus on infants and toddlers. And like so much of what she does, she said, yes, we have to do this. And she even wrote me into helping um, so that we can all be here today. Um, she's a woman of few, but most often quite profound words. Um, so I don't know what she's prepared, but we wanted her to have the last word. But maybe she won't, because you'll have other things to say, too. OK. Yeah, I, I have a story, be, because I felt that there was a unifying theme to what people had to say. And um, this is an incident that occurred to me uh, last week, right before Father's Day. And um, a person who has been um, very helpful to me, keeping my house running or and in order for many years, we were sort of putting up screens and he said to me, um, Nancy, um, do, do, was your father a good man? I said, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was a good man. And I said, uh, so Joe, was your father a good man? <laughs> and he said, well, not really. He said, he was a typical Italian father and he sort of, dictated things and you know he never touched me and I said oh is is that why you're such a good father to your three sons uh, he said yes and I said well that must really mean a lot to you to be that kind of father to your sons and he said that, that it was. Um, and then, then I said, well, if your father didn't seem to give you anything, what about your mother? Oh, he said, my mother was my mother and my father. And I think that what Joe was saying is, everybody needs somebody who really is there and who cares. And I think that's what everybody was talking about. And the babies 25 years from now still need somebody who's there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.